The Princess of Wales has her pick of historical, sparkly treasures from the royal jewellery box to wear on special occasions, but the future queen is currently favouring statement pendants from high street designers Mappin and Webb. Her £3,950 fortune necklace, two intertwined diamond and white gold circles, was a gift from the company. Mappin and Webb described the necklace as a contemporary classic, the infinity loops are a celebration of luck and good fortune. To date, she's worn the infinity loop necklace 16 times in public. She first wore it on a visit to the Shooting Stars Hospice in December 2013. The Princess of Wales brought early Christmas cheer to gravely sick children and their parents at the Shooting Star House Children's Hospice in Middlesex. For the visit Kate wore several new pieces from some of her favourite brands, including a jacket by Reese and a pair of wedge boots by Aquitalia. Kate wore her map pin and Web Fortune white gold drop necklace. During a music therapy session, Kate got involved, singing songs and she even entertained the children with a frog sock puppet. As royal patron of the East Anglia Children's Hospices, the warm royal is no stranger to these visits. On November 2014, the Princess of Wales visited the Norfolk showground in Norwich to launch a £10 million appeal for East Anglia's children's hospices. Kate wore a red knee-length dress with black suede accessories, she wore Catherine Hooker's ascot dress, the dress fastens at the back with a concealed zip. It is a nice dress with straight lines and simple features, perfect to conceal the start of a pregnancy. Kate accessorized her dress with her map pin and web fortune necklace, Kiki McDonough earrings, and a black suede Jimmy Choo Amy pumps. On March 2015, the Princess of Wales visited the Brookhill Children's Centre in Woolwich, South East London. Heavily pregnant Kate, who appeared a little weary, opted for the navy polka dot maternity dress from online clothing retailer ASOS. Upon her arrival, the princess was spotted talking to the chief executive of the charity Home Start, Rob Parkinson, who is hosting the event. Kate has had a packed schedule in the run-up to the birth of her second child with Prince William. On Saturday, April 2014, William and Kate travelled over to Brisbane, in the Australian state of Queensland, as part of their three-week tour. Kate wore the Larsa poppy dress by L.K. Bennett, this was already a popular piece from the company's collection. Kate gave a nod to her Australian host country too, as she clutched a bag from native brand Oroton, the embossed leather bag originally retailed at $235. Finally, Kate wore her blue suede Alexander McQueen pumps, diamond and sapphire earrings, map pin and web fortune necklace and her Cartier watch. First on the itinerary for Saturday was the IAF base Amberley, where the royal couple met Australian Defence Force veterans. During the visit, the royal couple also planted a Plunkett Malley tree in the base's memorial garden. The tree is a native tree of Queensland. On April 2014, the Wallace first port of call was Sydney Opera House, where a welcome reception was held in their honour. The couple were given a tour of the landmark, designed by John Utson, and took a look at the harbour, where they posed for photographs under Harbour Bridge. Kate wore a new dress by a familiar designer, she donned a sunshine yellow dress by Roxander Ilincic. Kate is wearing a custom version of the designer's Rydell dress, which forms part of the spring-summer 2014 collection. Kate wore her pearl earrings by Anishkar, with a glimpse of her map pin and web fortune necklace. On day 10 of the 2014 Royal Tour saw the Wallace bid farewell to New Zealand and head on to Sydney, Australia. William and Kate spent an hour touring facilities at the Royal New Zealand Police College. Then, William and Kate boarded the plane for Australia, William held Prince George as Kate waved goodbye, the couple smiled as the gathered crowds waved and cheered. Kate wore a blue tweed suit from Rebecca Taylor, it's from the designer's Sparkle Tweed collection. Kate accessorized the skirt and jacket with her Stuart Weitzman Muse clutch bag in blue suede. She wore her coordinating Alexander McQueen pumps. Kate added a little bling to the outfit with her sapphire and diamond earrings, speculated to have belonged to the late Diana, Princess of Wales. Finally, 
Kate's wearing her map pin and Web Fortune necklace.